Hi and welcome to the first demonstration video for workshop number five. This is starting with demonstration number 16. And uh, just a reminder that the first couple of steps that you should do to prepare for following this demonstration are really the same as what we ask uh, you to do every week. And one is to log into the remote desktop and then download the zip file with all of the full files in there that you will need to use this week. Um, in addition to those files, there were, obviously if you're watching this, you're seeing, you have, can see the uh, video file and also the PowerPoint file. All right, so let's get started. As you can see here, this is an SPSS file that I have open. This is the PMI.save. This is the, the uh, PMI data set in SPSS. I uh, to go through it in SPSS because you have uh, all the variables named, a uh, condition, PMI, import, reaction, gender, and age. Um, all right, so let's look at variable view, and we can see the descriptions or the labels for all of these variables. Uh, condition is whether it was in the front or the interior page of the newspaper. PMI is perceived media influence, and that is some type of measure. We don't know. It's a single variable at this point in time. It might have been, um, might be a composite of several scores. I'm, we don't know. Import is the indicator of whether the article is on an important topic. Um, reaction, that is, does the person expect they will purchase sugar after this, whether the person is male or female and their age. All right then, now um, I will, oh, now this is the PMI.dat. This is the data set in, um, that, that uh, S, sorry, that in plus will read in. And once again, just a reminder, <clears throat> there are no uh, variable names in this data set um, and it's just really important to make sure there are no missing values and uh, I would tell you if there are missing values um, but with your own data you need to always check for that all right now let's get to M plus so here is a the INP file the called demo 16 presumed media influence. And uh, that is the article. It's mediation. All right, and there's our file. So we're going to have the title, the data, the variable, um, the, and the analysis is, is type equals general. I'm actually omitted it this time because um, you don't even need it. That is the default value. I'm using bootstraps because um, confidence intervals for the indirect effect um, need to be bootstrapped and uh, that's uh, just I'm just going to mention that quickly and actually I'm going to mention a lot of things this is not actually a full course on mediation um, that would be um, that's beyond the scope of what we can do here but uh, just a, that's just a reminder that whatever technique you use for mediation you have to bootstrap the indirect effect here is the model so I'm going to ask you to take a look back at your PowerPoint, and I'm going to pull it up now. Here's the slide from uh, the PowerPoint slide deck. And we see that um, condition, we are interested in the effect of the condition of whether the article was on the first page or, or on some interior page in the finance section on the, on the newspaper, of whether that has an impact on whether or not someone is going to go out and buy sugar. Um, and we also hypothesize that the, the if that uh, whether the article is on the first page or an interior page actually has an effect on the presumed media influence, which then has an effect on reaction. And I apologize, I might have said perceived media influence a couple of times, and it's presumed media influence. Sorry about that. Um, and so I'm going to go now to the M plus syntax. Let me move this around a little bit. There we go. Okay. So our reaction is regressed on both condition and PMI. And PMI is regressed on condition. Let's take another look back here. 
reaction on both PMI and condition, and PMI is regressed on condition. There we go. Now, I think last week we talked about this briefly because I went over one mediation example last week, that there is this subcommand under the model command called model indirect, and with that, you can uh, request an output of the direct, indirect, and total effects. And what you say is reaction, and you want to find out the indirect effect from condition. I'm also asking for a sample statistics. That's one of the output options most of the time. Remember we talked about uh, analysis equals basic can give you some sample statistics, but this provides you the sample statistics for the variables that you're using here. And just a little note here, I'm using use v instead of the whole word use variable, and that saves a little space. And confidence interval, I'm using c interval instead. And then I'm actually going to show something a little bit different next time. But anyway, those are all the uh, little shortcuts that you can use. All right, I'm going to save it and run it. And as you saw, the... Um, the command prompt popped up and you could see the um, bootstraps running. All right. And I have bootstrap equals 500, but my recommendation, I do that just for simplicity while we're running these in the workshop. But if you need to use these results, you should you select more bootstraps than just 500. All right, so now let's look through the results here. We have uh, just uh, the title, the summary of the analysis, um, number of dependent, independent variables, the type of estimator was ML, uh, convergence criterion, maximum number of steepest descent iterations, all of that stuff we kind of glaze over sometimes. Um, and just want to look at it to make sure it's all being done correctly. And let me move this over just a little bit. So here are the sample univariate sample statistics that you can check on. Again, a reminder to always check this to make sure that M plus is reading the data in correctly. Um, I'm not going to talk about the sample fit this week. And um, for mediation, um, especially in cases like this, is actually um, a saturated model. So there's really not much to talk about. Um, other than we want to make sure we look at R-squared. All right, so here are our results. We have the uh, effect of uh, condition on reaction. It is not significant. The effect of PMI on reaction is significant. Then the effect of regressing PMI on condition is significant. We also have the intercepts there and the effect of uh, the estimated residual variances. Now we have, because we requested the uh, total di direct and indirect, specific indirect and direct effects, we have um, the effect of condition on reaction. That's 0.241. And that's actually not uh, something that is um, you saw up here. 241 is the product of 4765. Where is that? Ah, 477, excuse me. 0.477 and 0.506. You multiply those together and you'll get 0.241, which is the total indirect effect, which is here. And then the direct effect is 0.254. And that gives you your total effect uh, when you add those two, two together of 0.496. Below this, you also have uh, confidence intervals. But I'm going to actually show you something different to do with the confidence intervals. If you request the interval bootstrap, you'll get the bootstrap confidence intervals, which are different. Um, and so I'm going to run this again, and now I'm going to have bootstrap confidence intervals. So let's look back down here, and we'll see that for the uh, total, total indirect, specific indirect and direct effects, now we have confidence intervals that you can use for uh, reporting your results. All right. Before we finish up this example, let me go back to the slides. 
over here we go okay so there is a pay this is the one of the latter, latter pages in the slides that that provides the uh, information on the direct effect 0.254 the indirect effect the product of these two which is 0.241 and the total effect so let's talk about what this might mean so the total effect is 0.495 that means if I looked at nothing else, the effect of this change in condition on reaction is a coefficient of 0.495. When you put in the PMI condition, the presumed media influence, this direct effect changes. The to the, what was the total effect now is reduced to 2.254. So 49%, which is 0.241 divided by the total, which is 0.495, 49% of the effect of the condition of placement of the article, either the front page or interior, on the decision, the reaction, the to buy sugar, 49% of that has been mediated by the effect of the condition on presumed media influence. And that would be the type of question and the type of hypothesis and the type of conclusion you would have when you are doing a mediation analysis. All right, that's all for demo 16. And next we will go through the other demos.